On Tuesday, Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. announced that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will no longer recommend the COVID-19 vaccine for healthy pregnant women or children. What are the new COVID guidelines? Can you still get an elective shot covered through insurance? How is the decision made? And what comes next? ASP explains. Previously, the CDC recommended COVID vaccinations for nearly everyone six months and older. What health officials consider healthy for children and pregnant women in this context is unclear. As of Wednesday morning, the government has not released new guidance on how the policy affects insurance coverage for COVID vaccines. Health insurance companies largely base vaccine coverage decisions on CDC recommendations. The change could lead to insurance companies and Medicare and Medicaid no longer covering the shots for most people. The standard process for vaccine recommendations involves the CDC collecting information from advisors who look at existing studies, data, and possible side effects. The CDC director can accept, modify, or reject the advisor's recommendations. The HHS secretary is not usually involved in these decisions, but the CDC currently lacks a permanent director. The CDC Board of Advisors was set to vote on COVID vaccinations for all Americans six months and older in June, but Tuesday's announcement bypasses that step. Medical groups typically involved in the process of advising the CDC have expressed concern about the change. The American Academy of Pediatrics chair questioned the process leading to the decision. The Infectious Diseases Society of America said the new policy will have a negative impact, an assessment echoed by the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. But National Institutes of Health Director Jay Bhattacharya described the new recommendations as common sense and good science. The World Health Organization considers children 6 months to 17 years old the lowest vaccination priority for COVID. HHS has not announced when it will release a more detailed recommendation. While the CDC issues vaccine recommendations, states can mandate shots for children attending school and daycare. It is unclear if the new policy would prevent states from continuing to recommend or require those shots.